Powerful performances and riveting storylines have made Army Wives the highest rating show in Lifetime television history. So we're glad to welcome Catherine Bell and Kim Delaney. Yeah. Congratulations, by the way. Season two was the highest rated show in Lifetime's history. It's amazing. Most watched. I mean, what was your reaction to that? It had to be incredible. Yeah, 35 million. Wow. Wow. No. I don't think it was that much, but we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take it. It's been a lot. Are you kidding? We love being on the show and to have people respond. Maybe it was 3.5. Yeah, 4.5. 4.5. 4.5. Actually, it's a lot. 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 I could see why. We go down into Charleston. We're shooting, you know, in this beautiful city. Beautiful, gorgeous city. And then the audience loves it, which is so great. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. You're, you're really portraying the emotion and the heartbreak and the backstory behind what's going on. We have amazing and, writers. And you have and a lot of pressure on you. I know that you've actually run into real army wives who have yeah. had some messages for you, correct? Definitely. What do they say when you talk um, to them? God, they, well, mostly, I mean, mostly it's, it's they're happy that we're showing their side mm -hmm. and, and all that stuff. The one I think that you're maybe thinking about is what I told you was, I was on an elevator at the Mills house down in Charleston, yeah. mm -hmm. and this woman comes up to me. Well, we're just on the elevator, so we're standing there, and she goes, uh, my daughter's married to a military guy, and they have a little two-year-old, and um, I love the show. Get it right. And I was like... Yeah. <laughs> was she well, accusing yeah. you of getting it wrong? Or no, did, no, just, just make sure. Just make sure. 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 And she she don't get it very wrong. demure, very yeah, yeah, demure, yeah. and then was like, get turn, it right. She turned. Well, I'm sure they do feel that way, and I think you, you're doing it. Well, the great, I think the great thing about the show is well, you capture all the, the different aspects. Not every woman has the same story. Not right. every spouse is this is same thing going on. So right. I think you all cover. All our characters are so different too, you cover which is all nice. The bases. Yeah. It's very yeah. real and honest. Like I was saying to you, it's and it, it it just it hits your heart every single week. Like yeah, the the finale was so oh. intense <laughs> because there was a soldier that came into a bar that you were all at and he had explosives strapped to his body mm -hmm. and um, it blew up. Now we didn't know what happened. Right. Then it came back, we found out that your character's daughter had died mm -hmm. and she was a big major part in the show. She was. Kim mm -hmm. Allen is amazing and she was so great working. Um, the best thing, I mean, nobody wanted to lose her right. at all, but the good thing for her was, it's not a show about going to college, and she was going to college, so her storyline was kind of wrapped up. Mm -hmm. And they didn't want to cheat the audience and with a bomb and not have anything happen. Right. So I think they were really smart about how they handled it, and she has great film to go and show other right. people. And it's not a show about her going to yeah. college. Right. It's a show and it was about such a wives. bold move, too, for the writers yeah. to kill off such an important yes. character, such a heartbreaking storyline. And it opens us up for yeah. season two, Love which you've seen. And, and so this it's... This show was not done originally, or even now, with, with the um, consultation with, with the army. Or, or with, well, with now the it is. It is now. Yeah. We but were this not. is what... You know, the first year, they were not very cooperative. And I, you can understand why, because even though it's about the wives, and in some cases the husbands, there are still scenes in Iraq of, of, of the soldiers and, and their grief and, and the heat and their praying that they'll come back mm -hmm. and so forth. So last year they were not cooperative. This year they are, even though it's still showing Iraq as a pretty ghastly place to be. What made the difference? I think watching the first season made the difference. Mm -hmm. I think that they saw that we were incredibly respectful of the military. We weren't taking a side either way. Not and, political um, at Not all. political at all. Mm -hmm. right. And I think that they saw and they wanted to help us get it as right as we could and still right. do entertainment. But it's hard to watch the show and, and the wives and the families without realizing um, oh, it's devastating. You know, how, how devastating, devastating this war is. So right. it does have a, you know, a, point, of, a point of view. Sure. Catherine, excuse me, sorry. Catherine. I wanted to ask you about your character, mm -hmm. Denise. This was very interesting. She is a very timid. She played a very timid. Right. Catherine's woman. not timid. <laughs> no, no, you're not at all. You're so and so much. much. You, <laughs> you <laughs> jump out of planes and climb mountains and, and motorcycle riding yes. and car yes. racing. Yeah, I'm a this, was, this was very different from you because your character, Denise, is very timid. You were mm. also going through um, something where your son was 
physically abusing, abusing you. Right, at the yeah. beginning of last season. Yeah. So now it's shifted a little bit right. with this coming season. Yes, definitely. Well, one of the reasons I, I took the part of it, I, I wanted to do something com completely different than Jag, and I got it, because she's yes. you know completely yeah. the opposite of that character. And I was also, I wanted to make sure that she went through that transformation. It was important to me to not just play someone who was weak and couldn't stand up for herself. I wanted to see a woman go through a change and stand up to her son and, and her husband. But, but tell us about your experience in Japan when the guy was groping you, because that tells, yeah. <laughs> tells everything about Catherine. It, exactly, and it's something that Denise would not do. Yeah. Uh, well, I had I had an experience in an elevator. I was going up to the, the, my apartment that was in this <laughs> high rise. So in the elevator, again, it was raining outside. I get in, and a Japanese man gets in, and the doors close, and we each push our button, and, and his was before mine. So the doors open, and he doesn't get out. Now I'm thinking, this doesn't mm -hmm. seem right. So the doors close, and he reaches over, and he grabs one of my breasts. What? Very subtle. And, yeah, okay. real subtle, kind of like honk. <laughs> so, I mean, I literally, my instinct just kicked in, and I backhanded him. I mean, I just yeah. smacked him and knocked nice. him over. Yeah. And he, yeah. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> he freaked out. I mean, he grabbed his, his umbrella, because it was raining, so he grabs his umbrella, and he was like, you know, gonna hit me. And I grabbed the umbrella, and I smack him. <laughs> I like that. And at that point, he freaked out and he started pushing the buttons to just get out of the elevator. And I went, yeah, get out of here. You are finally yeah. to exit on. So that's, that's Kathy. You are tough Not ladies. Denise. We like that's it. Kathy. I love that story. Congratulations on the success of the show. You. you are tough Thank women you. playing. Thanks women in a tough position, and we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your work. Army Wives Air Sunday nights on Lifetime, and everyone in the audience is taking home the DVD.